Hello guys, um, today we're going to be talking about how to make Fallout 3 run better without directly changing any of the gameplay except for the UI, the inter user interface. Um, if you want to make your Fallout game run better, but don't want to change anything in the game at all except just the user interface, then this will be the video for you. This is also the base for every other mod installation. You should follow these steps if you want to make your game very stable so you can then put mods on top of it. So this should be a first step for everybody. All right, so today we're going to be installing um, a few mods. Um, let's first go to our data folder. The first mod we're going to install is going to be the unofficial Skyrim patch. Um, if you go to the Nexus site, it will be under, you can just do a search for patch or it should be under miscellaneous. Um, there are two versions. There is the original and then there's the updated unofficial patch. You want the updated one. Um, you will go to files, you will download the the top, the top one here, um, the exe file one. It's a little easier to use. So just go ahead and just download it. And then you will have a exe called updated uh, unofficial patch. Updated. I already have it downloaded. Um, you'll just double click the exe file, click run. And what this patch does is it fixes thousands of bugs, errors, things that are placed incorrectly, like floating objects, textures that are off, glitches with like stuff clipping uh, thousands and thousands of bugs and errors are fixed including the Windows 7 fix if you can't get your game to run on Windows 7 so you're just gonna click through make sure the game has your Fallout 3 directory um, selected it should detect it automatically if you're run running the Steam version it should have it in the Steam folder you're just gonna click next and it's going to ask you if you want to install it there and click yes um, if you have all the DLC which you should since Fallout's been out forever. Um, just do the full installation, click next, and click next, install. And it's going to go ahead and automatically install everything for you. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna overwrite some stuff or install stuff to the INI, just click yes for everything. So now it's installing thousands and thousands of fixes and glitches, glitch fixes and all these things. Um, it's something you should always install because it fixes Everything that Bethesda, most things that Bethesda didn't fi have time to fix themselves. Once you're uh, done, it's installed. If you make sure it's installed correctly, if you go to your data folder, you should see textures, shaders, um, and the uh, unofficial patch ESM and BSA should be there. If it's all there, then installed correctly, and you're done. Um, that should be the first thing you always install. Uh, next thing we're going to install is the uh, is the um, the four gigabyte uh, enhancer for Fallout. Um, what it does is it unlocks the exe file and allows you to allows it allows it to uh, use a lot more memory. I'll put a link to this uh, down below, but. It's going to be the NT uh, core site. You will go down here and click download the patch. You'll save it and then you'll take this, open this file. You're going to find your data folder for Fallout 3. You're going to drag this over and this works on all versions, including Steam. You're just going to go ahead and double click patch, click run. You're going to find the Fallout 3 exe file and click open. It's going to say executable successfully patched and you click OK and you're done. Now what that does is allow Fallout to use up to 4 gigs of memory whereas the base game can only use 2 because it's uh, has a set, the setting in the exe file isn't quite set to use it properly. Um, the next one we're going to install is called EMB Boost. What it does is it makes your Fallout use memory better so that way it doesn't crash to desktop as often when you have mods installed. Um, so you're gonna go to the EMB Boost site. You're going to download by clicking this button here or at the bottom. 
you're going to save the file it says EMB series you're going to open it you're going to uh, want to do the wrapper version and you're going to take all of this stuff highlight it and drag it right next into the folder with your e follow exe and you are done that's all you have to do it will automatically launch when you start the game it will help you um it helps the game by using memory correctly if you care about the details you can read through all this stuff down here as to what it's supposed to do um, this version doesn't affect graphics at all so it's just the memory fixes from emb um, then the next one we're going to install is going to be um, we're going to install a fallout script extender so we're going to do a search for fallout script extender should be the first link you can download the most current version which will be right here and then you're going to open it up you should see the folder and then you're going to take all this stuff it should say src drag the entire thing right into your exe folder again just like we did with um, the emb boost now with the fallout script extender um what it does it it allows the game to use more scripts or more advanced scripts than the game would normally be able to use. Um, you don't really need to know why it works, uh, but it will allow your game to do more things. Um, if you don't want to change anything in the game and none of your, none of your games require it, then you don't need to install this. But um, one mod that one mod that the unofficial patch, uh, one mod that it that I recommend you install is. Uh, uh, fallout script fallout stutter remover and it requires um it requires a uh, script extender to work it uh, it works for a majority of people not quite everyone um all you do is you uh go to the website fallout script extender download it the uh the most current version 4.16 you're going to download it and you're going to take the file you download and you're going to drop it into your you're going to drop it right into the exe folder it's going to ask you to merge with uh, the data folder click yes and it's going to ask you to merge with the src folder you click yes again and it's basically a plugin for a script extender and it helps the game load areas more smoothly as you're going along so a lot of times you'll walk along and in fallout and you'll be walking and all of a sudden eh, 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 like everything freezes as it loads the next area it helps to try to smooth that out it's works decently it works for most people it might not work for you but it um i do recommend at least giving it a shot it might work for you might not um um, if you if it doesn't work for you, you don't notice any difference, it's not helping you at all, then you can go ahead and delete it and Fallout Script Extender if you don't have any mods using that. And then the last thing we're going to install is going to be uh, a new user interface for Fallout because Fallout Fallout's interface is meant for TVs on a small resolution because like the text is huge, the UI is massive, and on a computer monitor, having all these things so big, it's just, just not using the space very well. So we're gonna use Darnified UI, which basically changes all the fonts and all the UI to make it more PC friendly by shrinking the font down to a, to a still readable size, but like you can read, instead of seeing only three dialogue options, I'm gonna scroll down, you can now see seven at a time. You can in the barter screen you can see 20 items at once instead of only like five um so it makes the the entire ui more pc friendly and better um so you're going to go to the darnified ui website you're going to scroll down all the way down um until you see download it should be right here that you're going to download the alpha faux mod version that's important download the faux mod version and you're going to download the hot fix. You need both files down at the very bottom there. And you're going to, uh, I showed you in a previous video how to use Fallout Mod Manager because you'll need it for this. You're going to open up your folder. You're going to go ahead and drop. You're going to go ahead and drop um, 
the faux mod into there. And you're going to go ahead and open up the other file with the hotfix. And you're going to create a folder. I usually, as I told you before, I usually label mine um, so they sort easier. UI darnified hotfix. You're going to drag the hotfix directly into the folder. And when you open it, you should see the ESP and then the menu folder. All right, so now we're going to double click this. It's going to ask you to make a copy of the original file. Uh, I recommend do yes. You're going to click Package Manager. And when you click Package Manager, you should see it show up. There's Darnified UI. And now we're going to add the hotfix as well. We're going to create from folder. Go down to Faux Mods. Click Hotfix. And then click OK. Now you should see the the uh, Darnified UI and the UI uh, hotfix. To, to install, you're going to double click in the Mod Manager to install. It's going to ask you if you want to overwrite the F I and I file. Click Yes. Click Yes to All. And then it's installed. Then you're going to double click uh, the hotfix and click Yes to overwrite all files. And you're done. And the UI is now installed. Um, if you ever need to uninstall in Mod Manager, remember to just double click again to uninstall. Um, and you should see the Darnified UI in there as well. Okay, so now just recap all we did. So I did it kind of quickly there. We installed EMB Boost to make the memory allocation better. We installed the 4 gigabyte patch to make Fallout able to use 4 gigs of uh, memory. We installed the Fallout Script Extender and the No Stutter plugin for it to help it smooth out when it runs. Um, and we installed the user interface Darnified UI to help it help the UI interface more be more PC friendly. Um, and I think that's everything we did. Um, again, this is um, everything we did. Does, leaves the vanilla game ex intact. Nothing changed gameplay wise. It even looks all the same. And we installed the unofficial patch. Sorry, I forgot about that. So we we with all those things, Fallout will run better, be less buggy, and is this a good starting point to um, start actually modding the game and changing things? Our next video will be all about installing mods to make the game look better without changing gameplay. Um, I'm Dan's Gaming. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like the ch the video, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also watch me live on Twitch. I usually broadcast most every day. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching.